Isaiah, peace to the gods and goddesses. Happy peace, many positive energy I always creates elevation. Hey, babe, you'll tap in for me so I can make sure everything 100. Reflex you, hey, How y'all feeling? Can y'all see me out there? I don't think y'all can see me. Let me see. Oh, there we go. There we go. We, we on here. Y'all go on the website. Let everybody know we live right now. We live. We live. We live and in the flesh. Peace to the gods and goddesses of the planet Kai. We live in the flesh reflection. Chilling. 2020. 2021. It's the year that it's called. Let everybody get up on here. Get up in here. You hear me? Um, I did want to pull up some laptop stuff, but I, I will see. We'll see. We'll see how that go. But right now, spread the word. Everybody go on Twitter, let them know we live. Everybody go on YouTube, let them know we live. It's a double lecture today, too. This one right here is only for the members. All the subscribers is paid members. Uh, the one we're giving on YouTube later going to be free to the public. This one's not free to the public. This is only for paid members. So only the members on here right now. We had 200 live viewers. Y'all spread the word. Go on Instagram, let them know we live. Screen record, post it in your Instagrams. Tag me and I'm going to share when we get off here. Go on Facebook, let them know we live. Twitter, let them know we live. Let them know. And go in the forum right here on the website and let everybody know we live. They can, if the, I, I sent everybody, um, I sent everybody, I've been resending um, um, app invites. Because in order, once you become a member of this site, in order to access the lives, you got it's best to download the app. You know what I'm saying? You download the app, but then we download the app, you need the invite. So I've been resending out all the invites to everybody. So. Everybody should be able to get the invites and know how to access the live. Also, crystal orders start shipping back out today. All right, so if you order crystals, they will be landing to you soon. We just had a bunch land like last week and the week before. So crystals been landing, but we took like a week with no shipping nothing out just to let everything land a little bit. So we reshipped back out starting today. It's crystal shipments going out. A lot of y'all are asking me when I'm going to restock on the crystals. Um, I kind of put that on hold for now just because it's the crystals that we have, like everybody buy them out and then they sell out and then orders be bagged up. So I don't like how all that energy comes with when orders are bagged up. I'm I'm, I'm here to teach and uplift. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've been in, tapped into crystals for a long time. I understand the balance of crystals, but I only started selling them because a lot of the guys and goddesses who watch me online was like, hey, I like your crystals, God, and wanted to know more about the crystals. Hell, I haven't even did the goddamn videos yet on the crystals. Like, it was a bunch of videos that I, I was going to do a video on every type of crystal. Labradites, citrines, lapis lazulis, um, fluorites, rainbow fluorites, black tourmalines, black onyx, blue onyx, red adventurines, conglomerates, all that. Like, all the different crystals, which I'm still, which I still plan on doing. But it's just so much has happened in between the time I thought of that idea in what, May and now. It was a consistent flow of some going on and certain lectures happened to be taught that was more important than tapping into those. So I only go off what the ancestors motivate me to do reflection at all times. And it's imperative that you know that. All right. So for those who didn't get a chance to order crystals, there's still some left you can order them. But for those who wait for me to restock up, um, we probably will. But right now we're not doing that. We just focused on awakening everybody on what's going on right now, getting these live lectures out here. Um, getting these lessons out here and keeping the frequency high. I understand that it's, you know, us, we the university, y'all, and when we do go public, you know, that's a blessing to them. But it's a lot of, it's a lot of, it's the, the planet need us. You know, we're just a strong family in here and we all enlightened beings. So the planet needs our frequency. Welcome to class. We have 500 live viewers. Welcome to class. We ain't started yet. We just, we just talking right now. We, we still in the pre, the pre-introductory phase of the live lecture. Reflexiations. You hear me? But just communicating with the family right now, with the body, um, before we dive into this lecture. Because like I said, it's a lot going on on the planet. And um it's so much going on that like I'm scrambling to cover everything. Plus I'm in a I'm in a I'm in a lock dead fight, me and my family with these people just because whoa, we jumped the five hundred eighty follower live uh viewers quick. Y'all welcome to class. Uh, we in a deadlock fight with these people, the elites who trying to, you know, use cases to slow down the bill, to slow down what we're doing. So, 
Uh, it's a balance of that along with fighting these, you know, these principalities out here. You know, it's the spiritual warfare, the physical warfare. It's all out war right now because it's in game. But the main thing that you must understand is that that's a part of in game. Seeing warfare from all angles, families not getting along, uh, uh, um, civil unrest. You see a lot of people waking up because it's a grand, the grand awakening is taking place. You know, so. Um, and you see it on all levels of life, regardless of, you know, the walk of life we come from, but the ideologies or the, the things that we that we believe in right now, everybody is, is waking up. So um, with that being said, I want y'all to really tune into what I have to say this this on this beautiful this beautiful day as we take down because we going into a new energy phase. So we we're, we're you know, as we move into the. And so back to energy cycles, we won't have days anymore. We won't have time anymore. We won't have death anymore. We won't have years, minutes, seconds. Any of these things, these are all spells. All right. Time itself is a spell. Uh, like I always taught you guys, that, uh, well, the guys, that time itself was a spell given to the Pleiadians by the Arcturian race. And all Arcturians aren't bad. The Arcturians is the extraterrestrial race. All right. But um, all Arcturians are not bad. It's duality in all species. But the ones that are bad, these are the ones that taught the human beings and the Pleiadians the spell of time. They put us in a maze. So all of that's breaking down. That's why days fly and, and things move so fast, a lot faster than they used to. So um, right now it's just a scramble to keep the matrix illusion going. Um, that's what the elites is hoping. So that's why this lecture, is, this is a deep divine download that we finna dump, jump into with uh, 2012 or 2021. All right, so um, welcome to class. I see y'all coming in here. Uh, keep letting them know we live. Help your fellow um, fellow guys and goddesses out that might not know how to access the live. All right, but um, most definitely, 2012 is 2021. All right, and we're going to dive into that. So before we get started, first, let me start by saying peace to the gods and goddesses of planet Kai. Peace, many positive energy always creates elevation. Um I'm sending the deepest of insight to all my peers, those, uh, well, all the elders, first and foremost, those 65 and older within the university. We appreciate you deeply. We appreciate you dearly. All right. Um, I've been getting a lot of emails from, you know, gods and goddesses in the university that's, that are the elderly. And, you know, a lot of men, you know, they want to know what's going on and, you know, they've been feeling a, a certain way with, you know, because they, they, they the elders. You know, they more worried about the youth and, and, and you know, our generation and, and making sure that we all are on the core. But I want the elders to know that regardless of what y'all see, tr trust me, we waking up, we on, we on one accord. We stronger now than we've ever been, you know. But I just want to say thank you to all the elders that's a part of this university. Uh, be you a member here on the actual website or be it that you actually are a member um, via just publicly. I just want to say thank you. All right. We want to say thank you. All right, now to my peers, those 20, 30, 40, 50 within the university, we the bridge. So it's imperative that we stay on the same energy. We stay balanced, all right? We play an important role in this war, and the war has already started. The war really revved up December 21st, 2020. So it's just now the Kundalini is rising, so things are getting more and more intense. And... um. You have to remember that we all had soul contracts when we first came here. So we came here with a deeper, with a with a with a deeper meaning. You didn't come here to, to just be a part of this video game that we call life or reality. You came here to create new programs and destroy the old ones. So keep that in mind. Um, beautiful supreme reflections. All right, to the youth, those twenty one and under within the university, I salute the divinity in you. All these blue crystal babies, these new rainbow babies, these, you know, we need your energy. You know, old, powerful, ancient souls coming in new vessels. That's exactly what you are. All right. But a lot of the youth is, you know, spreading this information. And, and that's what's empowering us. You know, y'all the bottom of the flame. Remember, when you look at a flame, you got three parts to it. The ember. Then you got the, the orange part, which, which appears orange, which is the which is the coolest part of the flame. And then you got the blue part of the flame, which is the bottom. All right. The blue part of the flame, flame is, the, is the hottest part of the flame. All right. Um. That's where the carbon is at. That's why it comes out blue. And then as the air oxidizes it, you know, it it, it, it gets it goes from blue, which is the highest vibration, all the way up down to orange and red, which is the lowest vibration. When you get to the tip of a flame, it's, it's red. That's the ember. 
all right it's reddish orange all right so you know the youth you all kind of represent the blue part of the flame right now all right welcome to class i see y'all coming in here y'all represent the blue part of the flame right now so we just want to say thank you we appreciate you like i say at your age we was we was a lot of us were still lost in this matrix so y'all coming in y'all been ushered into this realm at a beautiful time when this realm of atlantis at a beautiful time when knowledge is information is flowing all right so be be sponges y'all have fun with it all right have fun with it be sponges soak up everything you know soak up everything you can soak up right now because you will need it in this war all right so with that being said we all in the same frequency welcome to class okay welcome to class all right so we all in the same frequency on um, right now and first let me say how y'all feeling okay it's a lot going on so Whatever you're going through, um, and I know you see wars and rumors of wars. You see them trying to force the jab. You see them shutting down. You know, they, they come in at the, our school systems with it. They come in, you know, at your, your livelihood and your leisure with it. A lot of people that play sports, there's people that have jobs, there's people that, that do want to go further in school. Um, they had their whole mind, you know, put a lot of work into chasing their dreams, only to have it alter with the shot right now to come to this point where it's like, hey, do I... Do I participate or not? You get what I'm saying? Do I participate or not? And see, that's where you got to stay strong at. That's where everybody has to stay strong at. You have to remember who you are. You cannot move with fear. All right? Now, there was a movie that came out called 2012. And it came out a few years back. And I don't know if you've seen the movie. But the movie the movie was a very detailed movie. And it showed... Uh, let's see if I can pull it up. It showed... Um, Hold on, y'all. Hold on, reflections. All right. So, I think I touched on this before, though, in class. But in the movie 2012, all right, in the movie 2012, let me show you something. All right. So, in the movie 2012, all right, 2012 was all about the world coming to an end via destruction, okay, of water, volcanoes, natural events. All right, and, and what I want to focus on is this. All right, so we all can see this. Because I don't want to flip the camera around. But you see these arcs? They have arcs in this scene. Okay? So, I don't know how good you can see that. I don't want to show too much of their content because they've been tripping on the website of us showing other people content. But... It's an arc scene in the movie 2012. And these arcs were already owned by the elites because the, the elites was already aware of what was taking place, okay? So by the elites being already aware of what's taking place, you know what I'm saying? These arcs... Mm, showed These arcs... were these ships that the elites had already had set aside for this moment in time. Now, that's what's going on right now. Okay, so right now as we speak, this planet is going through a polar shift. And the elite is not saying anything about it. If you turn on the news, you don't see nothing about it. You know all you see? You see them talking about the vaccination. You see them talking about what the FDA approved. You see them talking about the Haitians at the border, which I'll touch on that later. You see them talking about isolated weather incidents, but they're not stringing it together like they don't know what the fuck is going on. When in actuality, they know damn well what's going on reflection y'all feel me they know exactly what the fuck is going on you hear me but they want to play it they want to play it like they don't because remember the, the the whole thing is to lie to you okay let's move right here okay the whole thing y'all is to lie to you you know that right 
These people is here to lie to you. They got everybody thinking everything is okay. Everybody's thinking this. Motherfuckers are sitting here getting ready for the Lakers to the, the, the try to go for their championship ring to get LeBron his fifth, sixth ring. You know, motherfuckers are worried about when the next album drop from their favorite artist, you hear me? Niggas is worrying about what new games PS5 finna release without paying attention to the skies, without paying attention to the ocean, without paying attention to the soil, without paying attention to the, the, to the insects, the animals that are around you. They make you aware of what time it truly is, okay? The news is not going to tell you that something is wrong. Remember this, whenever they tell you don't panic, that mean panic. You hear me? And if they tell your ass, Everything is okay, then nothing is okay. That's what y'all gotta know. They will never tell you to panic. They will never tell you that. They will never tell you that. They will show you the news. They will act like everything is okay. And when it's at the last minute, they'll say something. When they know that you don't have a chance to be ready for what's coming your way. Remember we spoke about the food shortages. We spoke about, um, you know, them unleashing all these locusts. A lot of things we started speaking about, people started waking up so quick on the internet and everybody was sharing things and it was spreading. You know, we talking millions of people waking up to this. So they had to alter their agenda. You hear me? They had to alter their agenda. Why? Because it won't work if we are prepared. You've seen, let's just start with the last few months. We've seen it, guys. Gods and goddesses. We've seen the earthquake in Haiti. And I told y'all what that was connected to. We've seen before the earthquake in Haiti when they was trying to burn the portals in the ocean. We seen the back and forth. We seen Ida. We seen Ida then hit New York and Philly and areas that it wasn't supposed to hit while skipping over several states. You know how they say have several seats? That shit skipped over several states. No lie. You know how the guy says me, have several seats, have several seats. That shit skipped over several states. Facts. All right. We seen that. Then, little or unbeknownst to the multitude, they started to speak about the volcano in La Palma and the Canaries. And when they spoke on it, they didn't speak on it. It erupted and they spoke about the eruption. That's it. Nothing else. They didn't tell the people what the eruption could lead to, and that's what I was looking at. They know that it's in game. They know that these titans are waking up. They know that they can no longer hold our ancestors. Definitely ocean, or definitely us. That's why it's a race to put the jab in us. All right? They wanted to make us, I told you this, they want to turn us from man, God to man, man to robot. 2020. 2020, they had everybody looking toward the end of the world. When that was just the start of the planetary alignment, which led to the unlocking of the Kundalini energy, which led to it starting to rise. And you see it. Look at how many people have woke up between December 21st, 2020 and December 21st, 2021. We're coming up on December 21st, 2021. They told you the Mayan calendar ended in 2012. Well, 2012 is 2021. We know who the Mayans were. Us. We know that truth now. Just our ancestors. Remember, we were tribes. So anytime you see the Mayans, Aztecs, any of these individuals that are talking about your ancestors. You feel me, Reflection? Your ancestors. And they said the Mayans predicted their, that the calendar would end December 21st, 2012. Q 
key word. The Mayans calendar would end December 21st, 2012. Remember, they said time back eight years. Okay. So 2012 was really 2004. Okay. In their years. And then when they say calendar ended, that don't mean the world ends. The world which these elites have created shall end. Calendar. What does a calendar cover? Time. Calendars cover months and days and years. The, the, the Mayans never had a calendar. But that's what they want us to believe when they say the Mayans calendar predicted. 2004. 2012 was 2004. And 2004 ended the Pisces age and ushered in the Aquarius age. Four plus two is six. Drop the zeros. Okay? Now, nine years to date from what we thought was 2012 would be what? 2021. I repeat, nine years to date. These start December 21st, 2012. Now go forward nine years. Where are you going to be at? December 21st, 2021. December 21st, 2022 will make 10 years. Nine represents completion. Remember that. We in the ninth year from the beginning of this Aquarian age. So for the last nine years, we've been waking up. That's when the awakening truly started. See, and it just start. December 21st, 2020. It's been a progress. Even if you go look at ind individuals like myself, other gods that are known or goddesses that are known, like the Remedy Ages, the Isis Wisdoms, Khalil's people like that, you'll notice that we was chosen to help lead and help wake everybody else up. But in those last nine years, we remember who we were on a deeper level because the more nanobot technology broke down within the chosen ones, which would be us as well as you all. And it allowed us to start this spiritual phase of connecting back to the ancestors who was working through us and communicating, communicating with us via the suns and via our pineal gland. Okay. So in that nine year phase, nine years ago, I was 25. Nine, I was just turning 25. About to be 25. Nine years ago, I walked in a cell and, and would start a six year journey of spiritual ascension. That's just my story. I mean, you can sit and talk with anybody if they really, they're gonna tell you that in the last nine years, there's been a lot of growth spiritually. And then once the Kundalini energy was set and locked in to start rising for the masses, December 21st, 2020, you've seen the mass awakening. Okay? You've seen a mass awakening. Well, the reason for that is because the matrix is breaking down. The grid is breaking down. We will be going off grid. You hear Kanye? I'm off grid, 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 grid. Rapping about it, right? Because it's finna break down. Y'all feel me? It's breaking down reflections. And as it breaks down, I see fear. I smell it. I sense it. Even though I know that we will be moving into victory. But it's imperative that we as gods and goddesses get a grip on what time we really living in. Look around you. Look at the planet. Look at nature. It was just snowing in South Africa not that many months ago. Look at the way the oceans, the seas, I should say, are reacting to the planet. The ice walls are melting and breaking down and been breaking down the last two, three years. So many people are seeing these different Pleiadian ships and um, galactic confederation ships and different ships from different extraterrestrial beings that it ain't even funny no more. It's like to the point where it's like becoming natural. A lot of these ships are, are, are here and been here. But then, you know, the elites who were in charge were using cloaking technology to hide this from our eyes. 
All right. So that's why a lot of y'all like some people got the gift where they can see past the clouds and they can see the cloak ships. You know, if they pay attention to the sky, they like, hold on, that cloud don't look right. A lot of these clouds are ships. The ships are there, but the elites, remember, they have a holographic technology that they're using for the sky, so they're cloaking it. It's one of the little tricks of the trade that they have, you know, but it's breaking down. And what happened in La Palma with that volcano erupting, that wasn't nothing light. That's all part of the plan. And at the same time, the volcano is erupting in La Palma. You have a volcano starting to, starting to, starting to erupt in Arizona. Hurricane Nora is still headed toward, headed toward Arizona as well. It just went up the coast of Mexico and tore Mexico up and they ain't said nothing else about it. At the same time that's going on, you have a volcano in Yellowstone that's been active and it's set to explode. Meanwhile, you still have the whole West Coast still on fire in the majority of these places. All this is being kept under wraps. Italy is flooded right now. Germany is flooded right now. I don't think y'all hear me. Italy has flooded right now. Germany has flooded right now. Asia, 90% of Asia been underwater since last year. They're not saying they're over 95% to be exact. All the coastal reefs, all the coral that was on the coastal reefs along these beautiful coastal shorelines that was dying over the last 60, 70 years because of the abuse that was taking place to our waters and our seas by these planetary, these parasitical invaders, the elites and these, and, and these um, reptilians. All of that is being restored. You got people posting videos of sirens and mermaids and I told you I'm going to still do the lecture on that. Crystals are being activated. The planet is being activated. You're being activated. Why? It's in game. They didn't lie when they told when they're not telling people they say, hey, uh, and Sister Isis Wisdom, she covered it first. Um, well not first, but she was one of the first ones to point it out though, honestly. And she was pointing it out to, to the guys and goddesses about how, you know, hey. Those volcano would erupt and then volcano slides off into the ocean. In the whole East Coast, we only have six hours to evacuate. Key word, six, they go that number again. Six hours to evacuate. And a lot of people think that's BS. A lot of people don't know that that's, that's no, that, that's not bullshit. That's real. All right. But the thing is, you can't evacuate. You can't run if you wanted to because the water know who, who needs to be hit. Just like these, the fires know who need to be burned, what villages need to be burned, what old towns need to be destroyed, what city halls need to be destroyed. Who are the descendants of those who took this planet from the ancient ones? We the ancient ones. All right. And the individuals that took the planet from us hide behind new titles and new names. So then when we come back to this realm as new spirits, and well, not as new spirits, but when we come back to this realm upon inception, what they call birth, when we enter this realm through our mother's womb, we forget who our target is. We are spiritual assassins. We come here with certain targets. Like, okay, we got to take him out, take her out, take them out. That's another reason why they have to draw the blood and fill us with nanobot technology to erase the mission. We come here with that mission. And that's where we at right now. You think it's a coincidence that New York just went through what it went through? Oh, that ain't nothing yet. You think it was a coincidence when that flood started hitting Philly? And I told y'all that in the Latin class in the last a couple lectures back. Not a coincidence. There's no such thing as a coincidence. You have to understand where we are. What's going on? Now we rise. That's why I say, I feel the shift. We're going through a planetary shift and you can literally see it, smell it. You can feel it in the air. Literally, <laughs> y'all feel me reflections? You can feel it in the air. And niggas still running around this motherfucker acting like they don't see nothing. I told you, niggas ain't gonna be happy 
to a dragon come out the sky and, 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 and tail whip the shit out their ass. Literally, like what they tell, smack all type of common sense into them. Rafiki and with the tail, tail whip them. What you? You hear me? Oh no. That might be uh They looking at the big ass dragon. Tail with them and everything. Is that a dragon? Uh maybe that's just Project Blue Bean. We got a whole tail print on the side of your face. The fuck is you talking about? Project Blue Bean. And that's another thing. Everybody wanna talk about Project Blue Bean. Do you know how long they had Project Blue Beam? Project Blue Beam, they was doing that shit way back in the 30s, 40s, 50s. All the people that used to see them, them ships and did it. That was all Project Blue Beam. Blue Beam. When people were seeing them, those, 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 what they call aliens, the little short guys with the gray jumpsuits on with the big black eyes, that was all Project Blue Beam. You know, then that was when the insectoids and the, and the Zeta Grays was abducting human beings, doing experiments on them because the elites, which are the the, the 13 bloodlines of human beings They turned their back on their own human beings Y'all feel me? So that's what that was That's exactly what that was That was Project Blue Beam right then and there And you never heard about it You knew nothing about it During the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, even 90s If you thought you saw a UFO nigga You was crazy See what I'm saying? They never mentioned Project Blue Beam They waited till once our ancestors arrived And came back Which they are here now now they want to reveal Project Blue Beam. Why? It's called a reverse psyop. It's called a reverse psyop. Y'all get what I'm saying? Like basically, we never mentioned Project Blue Beam to y'all, but we gonna mention it now because we know that y'all gonna see y'all ancestors. So when y'all see y'all ancestors, we want you to believe that it's some holographic imagery in the sky. To further confuse you, because we know that Yakub, Satan, Zeus, Prometheus, Marduk, whatever the fuck you want to call him, Zeus, float your boat, whatever going to help you sleep good. You know, he's the dad, he's the author of confusion. So they want to keep you off balance. So now that when you see, oh, now this Project Blue Beam. Project Blue Beam announces the 30s, the 1940s. No, the Anunnaki. Ancient ones are here. And all of these awoke, all of these... Black and, and Latino people are the are the descendants. They are the direct descendants of these individuals. So now they will be waking up and remembering who they are. And that's where the power comes back at. And that's where we are at now. 2021 is 2012. This is the completion phase. All right. The war is getting real. And it's going to another level. Another level. A higher level of higher energy being used for points to be made. You have to understand the depth of this, the magnitude of what's going on. All these earthquakes going off all over the planet. You think it's an accident? This is by grand design. And yeah, you're right. Yellowstone go explode. A couple volcanoes go explode. A couple things go happen on this planet and there's nothing that nobody can do about it. There's no need to run. There's no need to pack up and move. If your ass live in Florida, I wouldn't be trying to evacuate. The only thing I'm worried about is having my vibration right. Because nobody can run from destiny. Okay? If you're not vibrating high, and you're not one of us, and you're not against this system ten toes, then you're one of them. And if you're one of them, you got to live with your decision, big dog. You know what I'm saying? You got to live with your decision. So, and, and notice, like I say, they not even telling you all the, the seriousness of the weather. They not talking about that on, on, their, on major news. They not talking about that. No, they not. All they told you is that a volcano erupted in the Canary Islands. That's all niggas know. Y'all hear me reflection? That's all niggas know is that a volcano corrupt, uh, erupted in the Canary Islands. That's all people know. You hear me? That's why I told y'all. You want to be able to control your weight. Get away from relying on their food. Water diets, fasting. That's what we've been doing. Last two weeks, we basically fasting. Water diets. And getting, getting your, your avatar ready. Don't just rely on 
eating every day. Don't rely on these natural resources because we are finna go off grid. We are finna, the internet is finna shut down. We not gonna be able to get on here every day and keep doing this. It's not finna go like that. It's gonna come a time, I've been telling, warning the gods and goddesses since last year. It's gonna come a time real soon where the internet's not gonna work. You have to be prepared. These mermaids is here, man. The mermaids is in full force right now in the ocean and the sirens, man. That's not that's not a game when they here. That's the no most. And I'm doing a lecture on them. That's the no most. These dolphins and these whales that have been mistreated for forever, they was the no most. Yeah, it's finna get real, real. Ain't it's not no plan going on. And why that's going on, look how they treating our people at the border. The Haitians. The us. No damn titles, ain't no Haitians, that's us. Pay attention to the birds. Look how they interacting right now. Pay attention to the animals. They gonna always let you know what's going on. This planet is shifting. Planet Kai is increasing her frequency. She is not playing any longer. She not playing. Look at her. Look at her aggression. Look what she got to say. She got a lot to say. Because they treated her like she didn't exist. While living within her. While, while using her, draining of her resources. Never giving back. That's just like me. I love taking a piss outside. I love urinating outside. Even if I got the bathroom right there. I'd damn rather go outside and, and, and take a piss. And urinate. Why? Because I understand that we take everything from Kai. All her vegetation we eat. We breathe in her air, these elements. Although we created it, she's still an entity. So she exists. A feminine entity. All right? We take everything from her. But when you when you defecate or when you urinate, you're supposed to give that back to the soil because then she takes that and feeds that to the worms and the ants and they take it and they may turn it into nutrients and then they are then they are eaten by other things. It's the circle of 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 of, of life or the circle of, of positive energy and unity. You get what I'm saying? Anciently, we understood this connection. And I understand it. So when I, I, okay, think about it. When I defecate, what am I defecating? Things that I've placed inside of my temple. So it makes more sense to give that back to the planet than to put it down the toilet. Because when they go down the toilet, they don't do nothing with it. But send it down the sewer. And then they go down in the sewer and they got scientists who they pay thousands and thousands of dollars per hour to go in these everybody feces and dissect things because then your feces is all it's all that's another way they get things up out of us they get it out of our feces so and i that's the only the whole reason they made the toilet pipeline to get all our feces so that they can do that they be telling you all oh, the feces we release it out into the ocean no you don't no that ain't what y'all do with it y'all take it and drain it of nutrients facts Nothing that comes from us go to waste. They use every part of us down to how we defecate. So that's why, like, honestly, anciently, your defecation, when you defecate or take a shit, you're supposed to take that out, out in nature. Take a shit in the, in the grass, and, and, and that's going to fertilize the soil. No different than when a cow does it. If cow shit fertilizes the soil, what the hell you think your shit going to do to it? Think about that. Everything comes from us. If a cow can shit, and fertilize the soil and a cow is an animal although it has spirit and soul it's an animal that we created so if a cow shit will do that to the soil what you think your shit will do to it you got more nutrients in you than the cow it would be a completely different soil around here and they know that so they trained us to put our defecation in these little baskets for them to come and dissect nutrients from which they taught us these baskets were toilet bowls same thing with when you urinate think about it when you go to the doctor they can take your urine and know what the hell wrong with you just off your urine before they even get your blood they can even and they can also remember your blood is in your stool so when they go in your stool the doctors can also let you know if something wrong with you based upon how your bowels look so that's how important your bowels are that defecation is because you're not just releasing toxins you're releasing a piece of you this is why you're supposed to give it back to the soil we didn't have toilet bowls and we didn't need that we gave it to the soil and the soil was refertilized 
on an even higher magnitude because we were on a higher frequency. So anything that came out of our temple was on a higher frequency. And that's what we are going back to. A complete pole shift. But with the pole shift, it can seem a little scary to people because weather will be awkward and odd. But it's a must for the poles to fully shift for us for planet Kai to rise to her highest frequency. Feel me? For her to rise to her highest frequency, it's a must. It's a must that this take place. And a lot of lives will be taken away in that. Because if you're not vibrating high, you can't go up with her. You can't ascend with the planet if you're not vibrating high. It's about your vibration right now. So pay attention to what's going on with these volcanoes. Pay attention to Yellowstone. Pay attention to the one in Arizona. Pay attention to what's going on in Mexico, Germany. Pay attention to all of this. Think about everything that's taking place. Think about why that's going on. Look how they're treating them Haitians at the border. Them are people. They're whipping them people. And then trying to lie to us and tell us they're not whipping them. Oh, these are rains that come from a horse's mouth. Okay. You right. Y'all right. Y'all right. We don't know nothing. We don't see nothing. You see, they so used to telling us it's raining when it's pissing outside. Like they, 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 they used to piss on us and be like, hey, it's raining. And we were like, and we'd be like, okay, it's raining then. So it's hard for them to rise to the frequency we own to realize that, that we don't. We see through, through that shit. It's so beneath us now. 2012 is 2021, man. That's what you have to know. Then go watch the movie 2012. That's the homework. Go watch the movie 2012. Go watch the day after tomorrow. Then I want y'all to go to YouTube. Look into the flooding in Mexico, Germany, Italy, Asia. Look at the weather in Africa, Canada. Look at what's going on over down in South America and then in North America, Central. Look all around what they so call the planet when it's really just around. Think about all the people seeing the, the extra activity in the skies. In game. 2012 is 2021. The planet is speaking out. That's how you know. You don't ever have to ask nobody. That's how you know. And you know, when we meditate, we calling in the ancestors. When we was out in Colorado, we called on them forces. And I know they heard us. I know them forces heard us. Y'all feel me? We was out there, we called on them forces. I know they heard us. Y'all feel me? Them forces heard us. You hear me? This volcano that just erupted, they have everybody just focusing on the village where the volcano erupted. Why did the volcano erupt? What is a volcano? I think I'm going to do a separate lecture on that. I am. I am. Because a lot of people don't even know what volcanoes truly are. And where they come from. Okay. But those volcanoes didn't just erupt for no reason. Everything is happening in time. And these are, we have all type of uh, electrical codes placed in the planet for moments like this. Shout out to the university too. We 3,000 people on a live lecture. I'm proud of y'all. All right. But volcanoes can't just explode. They just can't go off. They have to respond to tickers that were, were set in place within the, within the crust of planet Kai. And the elites know that. So that's why when volcanoes go off, they get nervous all throughout history because they know they have nothing to do with that. And that volcanoes are are, 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 are are buttons, like domino effect. Okay? We will go through earthquakes on a magnitude that nobody has ever seen. Um, the weather is going to get more than extreme. You're going to see more and more outrageous YouTube videos from people posting things they seen. More and more Instagram videos. More and more TikTok compilations. Because this is the design. The ancestors are here. The Galactic Confederation is here. The, you got your, your guardian angels here, the, the angels here. You got the cherubim, the seraphim. It's a lot of entities and individuals here in this battle that's going on on this planet. The frequency is at an all-time high. And anything without a soul will be eradicated. 
anything vibrating low as well. And that's a fact. All right. So I'm just here to tell you to brace yourself. Prepare your family. Prepare yourself. Like I've been telling you. But don't move with no fear. But be aware of what's going on, though. Be aware. Donald Trump, still the goddamn president. Pay attention. Go look into the Constitution. Go look into what's going on in Washington, Washington D.C. 51st state. Why is that? Who is Trump? Trump is a double agent. And it's two Trumps. They tried to kill him, so the they, they actually killed the clone. The real Trump, however, is still fully ticking. And he is a, a double agent because he works for the Pleiadians. And all the Pleiadians are not bad. Some of the Pleiadians are part of the Galactic Confederation. Remember, it's duality in all things. Yeah, this shit get deep. See what I'm saying? This gets deeper than you can ever imagine. Trump and a lot of people on Trump's staff have been working as double agents. I've been new this. I've been new this, but I couldn't put it out because the time wasn't ripe. I had to wait. We in the time now. I could say this, and that's why I didn't want to get this live publicly. All the lives that we're going to be giving moving forward, majority of them, I'm going to be giving them right here on the website um, moving forward because of the time we in. Why do you think they trying to attack me? They literally trying to put a fake case on me because they so mad that I done woke so many people up. Not knowing that just like they supposed to free Larry Hoover and they didn't, that if you come and attack Divine Insight, you will, you, you, that's the, that's the igniter to start the war. Because we already at war. But that's the igniter that's going to bring the pre-immortal energies out there. The sky going to, just like in the movie, Avengers, when Captain America thought he was fighting by himself, then the portals opened up. They showed you that because that's exactly how it is. So how it's going to be. You're going to see people coming through the portals. You're going to see ships coming through the portals. You're going to see beings coming out the waters of the oceans and rivers. And you got everybody back right now for this war. It's real. Do not let the eyes fool you. Remember the four phases of matter. Solids, liquids, gases, plasma, energy. The higher it vibrated, the less you can see it. Oh, it's real right now in the planet reflection. You hear me? Don't be fooled. Do not be fooled. All right? I'm supposed to be doing a speech in Atlanta Friday for the Free Larry Hoover campaign as well. So if I fully, if I do it, once I get out of uh, the details on it, I'm going to post it. And if you're in Atlanta or you're in Tennessee or any surrounding state, pull up. Pop out. We're going to be out there. I'm going to be out there for that. Okay? But spread this message far and wide. You know, we don't have to get all fancy. I don't have to pull up no nothing on YouTube for you to see the weather. You can see that yourself. I'm here to let you know why 2012 is 2021. I'm here to let you know, all right, that why they said the Maya calendar ended. We never had a calendar. We never had time. You see what I'm saying? More lies. All right. Time is up. The system is over with. Why you think Biden said they're going to start watching people's finances if you go for, over the there go that number again, six, three, six, or nine. And they love playing with six because they come from the six universe. But you see, by, oh, yeah, yeah, the, the bank's finna crash, all of that. I'm telling you, all of that. You see them riding right now in Jamaica. They riding and protesting the jab all over the planet. It's literally civil unrest. And while it's civil unrest, the planet is, at, is unrest. So you got nature not resting, and then you got the civilians not resting. 2012 is 2021. All right, so the homework for class, go watch the day after tomorrow in 2012. And I'll see y'all tonight on YouTube. All right, that one's going to be on the main channel on YouTube. Um, we're going to talk about trouble at the board. I need y'all to tap into that. Also, I'm going to make another post where I want all y'all to call to the, to the DA, those who support me and my family. 
My legal team need everybody to call down to the DA and tell them to drop the charges. My legal team already looked at it. They say the case is frivolous. It's nothing to support it on no level. They didn't do no investigation. All right, so we need y'all to call down. I'm going to post it on the website, and I'm going to post it on, on social, too. And a lot of y'all already been calling. They said they've been getting y'all calls. But we ain't in game. We're not honoring We're not honoring this system. And my, and my legal team, they on the same thing. They understand the BS. But they using us right now. The ancestors using us right now to further expose this judicial system. And what it stood for, why this shit going down. You get what I'm saying? Because it's going to show why it's going down. All right? Now we rise. I'll see y'all on YouTube at 9.30 p.m. tonight. Spread the word. Peace to the gods.